Hi guys, welcome to this video tutorial on creating a SP.NET Core 2.1 CRUD application on a Mac. This is part 2 of the video tutorial series. In this part of the tutorial, we will learn to create an application DB context class that we will use to communicate with our database. So, first of all, go ahead, right click on your project and create a new folder. Let's call this folder as data. Right click on your data folder and add a new file. Let's call this class as application db context and then hit new and the new class should be created. So application db context class is created and we are going to use this class to communicate with our database. In order to communicate with our database, we are going to make use of Microsoft's ASP.NET Core's entity framework core library. So therefore, let's go ahead and inherit our application db context class from db context class, which is a part of Microsoft's entity framework core. You can provide the missing reference by which the error would be gone. Now go ahead and create a constructor for our class. Since our application DB context class inherits from DB context, it was, it's going to call its base constructor. Therefore, we need to provide some options to our base constructor. So let's go ahead and provide the options. These options are basically the options that are required in order to connect with our database. So let's provide these options. That's it for our application DB context class. So now let's go ahead and create a service that will consume our application DB context class. This service will start when our application runs and using this application DB contact service, we can communicate with our database. So let's go ahead and add this service to our startup class. So and the connection string here, we need to provide the name of our connection string that we are going to use to connect to our database, which is under our app.setting.json file. And if you remember, we gave a name to our connection string, which was default connection. So let's copy that and just paste it here. So as soon as our application runs, during runtime, a service will be created to communicate with our database and then it's going to use this default connection string to contact our database using the options provided. That's the username and password. So that's it for this video tutorial. In the next video tutorial, I will show you how we can create migrations. Thank you for watching.